the producers and distributors of Tech AV technical training videos and instructional aids welcome you to another program in the electrical cable series. This program, dealing specifically with glands, has been developed with the assistance of Prattley Manufacturing and Engineering Company, PTY Limited, a leading manufacturer of professional cable accessories. During the program, you will learn to identify various types of cable glands and be shown the procedures required to assemble and fit each type correctly. At the end of each section, time will be given in the form of a review break for you to discuss or practice procedures demonstrated. So let's begin as we first discuss what a gland is and what they're used for. The primary purpose of any cable gland is to provide a safe mechanical means of anchoring a cable at its point of entry into or out of electric apparatus. Various environmental or other conditions will affect the type of gland selected as will the type and size of cable being used in the installation. Some glands are designed not only to secure a cable, but also to create a seal or protection for safeguarding against accidental ignition in hazardous areas. We will describe such special purpose types in more detail in other programs. This program focuses more upon general types, principles of assembly, and use of certain accessories. There are in principle two categories of glands, namely compression glands as used with unarmored cables and armor gripping glands used, as the name suggests, with armored cables. A compression gland consists primarily of a lock nut, the gland body, metal retainer washers, a compression bush, skid washer, and a compression nut. When assembled and secured onto a cable, the compression bush tightens up upon the cable bedding and effectively grips the bedding firmly enough to prevent the cable being accidentally pulled out of its mounting. A typical armor gripping gland consists of a lock nut, the gland body, a loose cone or bush, and a cone nut. In principle, anchoring is affected by trapping the cable's armors between the cone and the gland body. The cone nut, when tightened, firmly wedges the cone into the space between the bedding and armor wires, thus creating a powerful and positive grip. Both types may be fitted with rubber shrouds to provide protection from possible corrosion to the metallic gland components and for waterproofing purposes. So far we have described only metal glands, which are in fact steel-plated brass components. Another material used to create glands is Teflon, a synthetic material suitable for most domestic or light-duty applications. Teflon glands are made only as compression types, white being suitable for indoor applications, black suitable for external applications. Apart from the material, the components of a Teflon gland are similar to the heavy brass type compression gland, and the procedure for assembly is identical to the brass types. After the break, we'll begin the practical demonstrations of gland fitting. <laughs> 